next topic is indices. Okay, so in this topic itself, things you need to differentiate and understand is what is considered as a base and what is considered as the powers or index. Okay, so the x over here at the top left corner is your base and your top right will be your power on also known as index. So things to take note, anything to the power of 1 will be the numbers itself. Anything to the power of 0 will be 1. So there's a couple of rules listed down here. Okay. So it shows you how indices interact with each other. So when AX times AY, okay, since their base is the same, which is A, all you need to do is to take their power and add them up. Okay, whereby for divide, it become minus. Okay, and if there's a bracket there and another power outside, so these two variables you're required to multiply them up. Okay, and if your power side has a negative, all you need to do is to shift them down. Okay, so I've attached a pretty interesting example over at the side 1 over y to the power of negative 5 bracket to the power of 3. So this 3 was being multiplied with the negative 5 and now you will have 1 over y to the power of negative 15. So however if we were to shift it up okay then we multiply another negative into it right so now our results will be y to the power of 15. Okay, so in, in this topic, it also involves certs, okay, where we change the square root, cube root, okay, into power format. So over there, this example, g to the power of 1 over 3, this is actually a cube root of g, okay. And the one at the bottom is also interesting as well. So looking at the example there, Okay, g to the power of 2 over 3. Okay, I can actually write it as g squared cube root or cube root g to the power of 2. Okay, however, for the next one, the y was being multiplied into both of the variables. Okay, and lastly, the same thing a over b to the power of 3. It becomes a to the power of 3 over b to the power of 3.